Berge, Brandy President of the World Economic Forum, Christo Rujeje, Managing Director of the Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution, Rwanda, Senior Officials, Distinguished uh, Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm pleased to join you today for the launch of the Center of, for the Fourth Industrial Revolution, Rwanda. I would like to start by thanking the World Economic Forum and Professor Klaus Schwab for the long-standing partnership. And Borge, thank you for joining us here today in person. We've known each other with the Borge for quite some time now. Happy to see you in our country. Over the years, the forum has accompanied our country's ambition to be a digital economy aiming at inclusive and sustainable growth. The launch of the center is happening at a critical time and we must take full advantage of it. In Rwanda, and all over the world, emerging technologies have driven innovations to contain the COVID pandemic and mitigate its impact on livelihoods. This has sped up changes that were already underway. The way we live, work, and interact with each other will keep evolving as technology does. But data governance frameworks have not kept up with the first pace of digital transformation. I therefore commend the Center for Supporting the Development of Rwanda's Personal Data Protection and Privacy Law and the policy will safeguard our citizens while leveraging emerging technologies for the betterment of our communities. Allow me to suggest three other ways in which strong partnerships such as this one can accelerate digital transformation. First, by stimulating entrepreneurship through increased investment in the right skills and capacity. Second, by helping to address the financing gaps that prevent Africa's businesses scaling up. Lastly, by working to harmonize Africa's data governance landscape and thereby fast tracking the implementation of the African continental free trade area. Some of these partnerships have already begun and I thank all partners for their promising initiatives. The launch of this center is enabled by investments that we as a country have been making in science and technology. I hope the center will build on this by making the fourth industrial revolution an equalizing force and contributing solutions to some of today's most
pressing challenges. We are very happy to have the World Economic Forum as a partner in this crucial and other endeavors. Here, I wish to thank you for your being here and also for your kind attention. <laughs>